Over the last couple of days, we've talked a lot about snow safety and now going into the holiday weekend. You might be wondering what are some things you can do to stay safe on the mountain. These are some of the tips I take. Number one, ski with a partner. That is the most important piece of equipment you have. Number two, I always wear my helmet every day. Definitely important on a storm day when you can get caught up in a situation you don't want to be in. And I also wear the brightest jacket I have. This just helps my friends find me and if for something were to go bad, at least I'm easily uh, visible. The other thing I do, normally on a ski day, I would ski with my pole straps on, right? Well, on a powder day, I ski with my straps off. Why would you do that? If you get caught in a slide or upside down in a tree well, you can easily get rid of your poles, free up your hands, and start swimming. Those are the basics. One other piece I have, I'm a backcountry skier. I would never go into the backcountry without my beacon. On powder days, though, I still wear it inbounds, and this is what it does. Right now, this is sending out a signal. I've got a second beacon buried out there the leaves. Let's pretend that's a buried victim. I can switch this to search mode and watch what it's going to do now. It's searching. Right now it's telling me 9.1 meters that way there's a person buried in the snow or in the leaves at this point. So now I can, this will direct me to find them. Once I find them or once I get in that area I can pull out my probe. This allows me to then start probing the snow without digging a bunch of holes needlessly. I'll use this to start probing the pole, looking for that victim, and then once I've located them, I can then pull out, you could use your hands, you can use a ski or a snowboard, but in this case, I also carry a shovel with me. Now I can start digging and free that victim. Great advice and the biggest safety tip for skiers is to never ski alone. Always have a buddy with you so you can watch out for each other.